Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Amanda and today we are talking about how to choose a backpacking sleeping bag. Now I know there are a lot of options out there and backpacking sleeping bags can be very expensive. In fact, I think my sleeping bag is the most expensive piece of gear for backpacking that I own. And so I really want to share with you all the things that you should consider when you're buying one so that you make a good choice. All right, so there's three basic things to think about. First one is temperature range, second is weight, and third is the type of insulation. In this video, we're going to dive into all three of these things. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the temperature rating. Now, sleeping bags come with a temperature rating, and that rating indicates the lowest temperature at which the bag was designed to keep the average sleeper warm. Keywords here are average sleeper. I'm not an average sleeper. We talked about this in my recent backpack pad video so I'll link to that below but women in general tend to sleep colder and I know for me personally I'm always cold at night and so these temperature ratings are really not set in stone and you really have to think through kind of how you sleep and then also the temperature ranges you expect to encounter while you're backpacking I backpack many seasons throughout the year and the temperature ranges that I experience vary greatly I can always sleep on the top of my sleeping bag or open it up if I'm too hot but if I'm too cold there's really not much that I can do and it's not fun it's miserable and potentially dangerous so when you're looking at these temperature ratings really think through the lowest temperature that you expect to encounter and then try and choose a sleeping bag that's rated a little bit lower than that to give yourself a little buffer room other things like what you're wearing your tent and your sleeping bag will factor into how warm you are at night and so again these temperature ratings are not set in stone the next thing to consider is the weight of your sleeping bag now with that Packing. We all want our packs to be as light as possible and your sleeping bag will probably be one of the bigger bulkier items in your overall pack. And so if you're looking to cut down on weight, here are a few things to consider. First, make sure that if you're comparing sleeping bags, you're comparing sleeping bags of the same temperature range because the lower the temperature rating and the warmer the bag should be, the heavier it will likely be because there's more insulation in that bag. So make sure that you're comparing the same temperature ranges. And then the next thing that will factor into the weight of your sleeping bag is its shape. On one end of the spectrum, you have mummy bags and they pretty much look like the name implies. They have a hood and then they taper down at the feet. There's not a lot of room in there to wiggle around. That is what this green bag is here and that's what I use. On the other end of the spectrum, you have a rectangular sleeping bag and that's sort of the classic sleeping bag shape. It's very rectangular, open at the neck and it's bigger. There's more room to move around, but it's ultimately gonna be heavier because there's just more material there. And then right in the middle of these two, you have a modified mummy bag which is just a little bit roomier than the mummy bag but not quite as roomy as the rectangular bag and it typically does not come with a hood. The hood is pretty much essential for me. So I use the mummy bag to minimize weight and maximize warmth. All right so moving on to the last thing to consider when you're choosing your sleeping bag is the type of insulation. So there are down sleeping bags and there are synthetic sleeping bags and we're going to go over the pros and cons of each. So a down sleeping bag is more compressible, light and tends to be more durable than a synthetic sleeping bag. But not all down is the same. The quality of down is important here. So to gauge the quality of down, you have something called a fill power spec, which is sometimes called an insulation spec. The higher the number, the higher the down lofts and the warmer the sleeping bag will be for its weight. The main downside to down sleeping bags is that they do not insulate when they're wet, which brings us to the synthetic sleeping bags. Now the pros of the synthetic sleeping bags are that they are often a lot cheaper than down and they do insulate when they're wet. So they're a really great choice for humid, damp climates. The downsides are that they don't compress as well as down and they tend to be a little bit heavier. All right, so we've covered it all. To quickly recap, the three things to consider when choosing your sleeping bag are the temperature range, the weight, and the type of insulation. Think through the types of trips you're going to go on, the temperature range, and the features that are most important to you. Before you go, I just want to quickly mention how important I think the hood is on a sleeping bag. I personally cannot backpack without a hooded sleeping bag. It makes a huge difference in the warmth when you can cinch in all of your heat around your neck and cover your ears and your head when you're really cold. So just maybe give that feature a little extra thought. And if you have any other questions or anything that's confusing, just let me know in the comments. I read them all. I try and answer every question that you guys have because I really want you to make good informed decisions. 
decisions. And lastly, I will link to my favorite sleeping bag in the description below and some other possible options that might work for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, say hello, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.